Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We managed to complete our first flight and we got some science and then our second flight ended in catastrophe. But you know, one death isn't so bad, by Kerbal standards anyway. Right, so let's recover some wreckage. So what have we done? So we've reached 5,000 meters, 26 kilometers, 19 kilometers, 11 and a half kilometers and 750 meters a second. So Jeb, you did not die in vain. Uh, it's probably worth uh, <laughs> informing the family that he didn't make it. Now, with that last mission, we did manage to make a lot of money for completing our contracts. So, famous last words, me in the last episode thinking we were alright for parachutes. We kind of weren't. So, we should probably consider bolting a couple on, just in case. We'll call this the Stub Mark II S. The S stands for safety. Actually, no, it should be the Stub Mark II S, in quotes, for safety. Right, who's getting in the can today, I wonder? Oh, it's Bill. Well, you know, you, you probably saw from over there what happened to Jeb as he came hurtling back to Kerbin and smeared himself across the landscape in that catastrophic explosion. But here's hoping that you'll have a bit more luck with this, Bill. Blast off! There we go. How fast? Pretty fast. This is fast. Let's try and point ourselves over in the direction of the mountains, see if we can get a different EVA report. Let's turn the power up again, go for our liquid... Whoa! Oops. Oops! I decoupled too early. Well, let's observe those materials while we can. That's if I can even click on the button! We're wigging out too much! The less resilient samples appear to have splattered around the interior, forming new and interesting combinations. Observe the mystery goo, no target. The goo jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. So we didn't make it as high as Jeb did, but Bill does have a, a better chance of survival, I suppose. I wonder where he's gonna land. The parachutes have deployed at least. I mean, you know, Jeb's one kind of shredded itself as we approach the Earth, but, you know, Bill's doing a lot better. I think Bill's got a bit more sense to him, and he seems to be enjoying it as well. He's kind of smiling as, as we, we drift. Yeah, we're still going 230 metres a second, so that's what, about, you know, 250 miles an hour, 260. So it isn't exactly slow, but then again, it could be a lot more dangerous, I suppose. Well, would you look at that? Bill's coming down at a ridiculously slow speed. What is it? Four and a half meters a second, pretty much. Can't even see the space center. Oh, it's just over that hill, isn't it? Right, well, pop out and do an EVA report, lad. Go on. Come on. EVA report. No, you still don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary. Well then. Space Center, that was that was a successful flight. So what should we do? General rocketry. St <laughs> Stability might be useful. Radial decouple. The only problem is, you see, we can only afford one of these right now. We can get 15. Yeah, we can't get we can't get these two. I mean, uh, survivability has be has come a bit too late for. The poor Jeb. You see, I'm torn. I'm torn between stability and general rocketry. Because look at that, we get a thumper. A thumper solid rocket booster. If that isn't cool, I don't know what is. Better fuel tank. And swivel liquid fuel engine as well. But you see, it's with this, we can get our winglets, nose cones, and radial decouplers. So we don't crash and burn. Okay, it's the Kerbal way. We're going for more rockets because that's the solution to everything. More solid rocket boosters. You see, that thumper is quite a bit of a step up from the hammer. I wonder would we still be too heavy if we had a couple of hammers on the end? Yeah, we're slightly overweight. 
Okay, pop those off. Let's see. Save again and launch. See, we managed it that time. We might make it into space with this thing, which isn't too bad. Okay. Uh, Bill? Those sparkling white underpants you're wearing this morning won't be white for much longer. Uh, we're not accelerating as fast as we were last time, but I guess that's to be expected considering we've only got one rocket nozzle burning at full pelt. The last time we had about three or four, didn't we just all blasting off at once? I mean, we blew our load quickly, but this one's uh, a bit more slow and steady. Now look at that though, we're getting supersonic effects. Come on, keep going. Let's measure our goo. That's useless, that. Full power, come on. Oops, oops. I forgot to put wings on. Let's turn the power down. Turn it down. No, no, no. Right, turn it down. Let's get ourselves pointing the right way. I want to go to space. Not build a crater. I can't click the thing again. Ah, oh, this, this is, this is trolling me. This is trolling me. Right. Upon recovery, we get 22 science. That's quite useful. Shoot destroyed by aero forces. Are you kidding me? We're getting kneecapped by aero forces every time. How are we meant to deal with this? Sorry, Bill. Rest in peace. Fortunately, however, we have plenty of Kerbals, so with some slight modification, we can shove another one in the cockpit and blow them to smithereens as well. No, not blow them to smithereens, we actually want them to come back. But then again, being a Kerbanaut, part and parcel of the, uh, the job is the risk of being blown to smithereens. So yeah, deal with it. <laughs> and in the cockpit today is Bob Kerman. Place your bets now on whether or not he's going to make it out of this alive. Here we go. So the rocket's uh, sort of listing upwards. Fighting with the controls to keep it on track. We are going out to sea though by the looks of things, which is kind of cool I guess. Though I don't think he ever wanted to be a sailor, do you? He obviously wants to be an astronaut and he's kind of doing the wrong thing because he is going to end up in the drink. And next stage. No, no, we have no stability. Why? Why don't we have any stability? And why don't we have SAS either? Come on, stop the engines. Try and not wig out as much. Come on. Oh, are we still wigging out? Yeah, we are. Right, now don't tell me this is going to kill us this time. It better not. It's, it's ridiculous if we keep dying by parachute failure. Or is it we've got too many chutes, I wonder? Do we need to fire a chute off first to slow us down a bit and then the rest of them to bring us to a, a full stop? Well, I guess it's a bit late now. <laughs> no, he's, he's gonna live. We know now. We know you don't want to be a pirate, but tough. You're gonna be a pirate. It's probably going to take you about an hour to actually touch down. We are only moving at four meters a second. Check that physics out. Right, shall we Shall we do a water goo sample? If we can even get to the goo. Observe. The goo escapes into the water. <coughs> Let us keep that. So we still need to set a top speed of... 1050 meters a second we need to reach 70 kilometers in altitude and get 20 kilometers from the Kerbal Space Center anyway guys thank you for watching hopefully next time now we've got some better parachutes we won't have such a terrible catastrophe you know plummeting to the ground after what would have been quite a successful but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode Take it easy, have a good day, bye bye.